He is required to participate in mandatory social media communication retraining. To it. I don't know if uh, he wants me to discuss this publicly, so I'm going to hold off and wait until uh, he does, because I believe he's addressing it publicly. Has he addressed this on his? Uh, see if he went to go to his Twitter page. See if he said anything. But a Wi-Fi issue at the moment. Okay, he's getting in trouble for retweeting some uh, person who was critical of Justin Trudeau. Mm. And the, the some the whatever board of psychologists that they have in uh, Ontario is bringing him in for disciplinary discussions, and I think they're they're having some sort of they they want him to be involved in some sort of a class or some sort of a thing. Here, oh, I should just just read it. And if I don't get, I'll, I'll contact him. If I don't get his permission, I'll I'll delete this. This aspect of it, but so here's here's what it says. Um, it says the College of Psychologists of Ontario, the government mandated professional college of psychologists, has disciplined me and is threatening my clinical psychology license for retweeting the Conservative Party leader Pierre Polivier. How do you say his name? Not sure. Not sure. Um, criticizing Justin Trudeau, the chief of uh, staff Gerald Butts. Uh, someone named Jacinda Arden and uh, an Ottawa city councilor. He is required to participate in mandatory social media communication retraining <laughs> to modify, it says, to modify my objectionable behavior, which I absolutely refuse to do. So they'll go to the next step, which would be an in person disciplinary healing, hearing, excuse me, with my license on the line. I'm going to make all this public this week. If you're interested, take a look. Canada has given over to the commissars, something I thought I'd never see in my lifetime. Happy New Year. Well, I can't say I'm terribly surprised. You know, ultimately, anybody who re remains inside an institution is going to be up against disciplinary hearings if they insist on seeing reality and discussing it. But the, the, the term retraining... Like, like, um, I'll read it again because it sounds so bonkers that, that, that someone would think that this is a good idea. That this, this term is so crazy that he is going to participate, have to participate in mandatory social media communication retraining. <laughs> social media communication retraining. Retraining. Like, you have to do it the way I do it. You have to do it the way other people um, that we, we have decided that the way you communicate is not proper. We don't agree. You're, you're retweeting people who are critical or criticizing the government, and we don't agree with that. So we're going to retrain you how to communicate on social media, and this is mandatory. You have to do it, and then you're going to have to adhere, right? Because if you do it, uh, if you go through the retraining and then you don't adhere, well, then it doesn't count. Like You have to be a different person. Yeah, I mean, I am simultaneously shocked. My myself from ten years ago is absolutely shocked. Yeah, myself that has lived up to this point through the last five years is not shocked you at know? all. No, the, the disciplinary hearings are part of the structure that keeps the last holdouts from doing their thing. And in this case, you and I both know that Jordan is not going to bow to this. There's, there's nothing that they can say that is going to cause him to do that. Well, fortunately, he doesn't have to. This right. is the most important part about it, is that Jordan has achieved uh, escape velocity. And he doesn't, have, he doesn't need them anymore. And so this is an empty threat. So this removing his license, you're gonna, not going to take away his education, his degrees. You can't, you, if you say you're removing his license, well, I don't think he's seeing clients anymore. He's not really acting as a clinical psychologist anymore, is he? I don't think so. I don't believe so. And I agree with you. Uh, I think what we have to discuss is this. There's a question about where each of us are with respect to what you're calling escape velocity. And yeah. In fact, you and I sitting here is an interesting test case because I haven't, I've come close to escaping achieve, uh, escape velocity, but not quite. Well, you've been hobbled by the demonetization on YouTube for things that are now being printed in the Washington Post which is wild because one of the things that you got in trouble for 
was uh, how do you say his name? Geert Vanderbosch. Geert Vandenbosch. Vandenbosch. Um, he was talking early on on your podcast about how these vaccines are in some way going to aid in variants. Yeah. Right. He, and he he made a video today. Did I send it to you yet, Jamie? I don't think so. I'll send it to you now because he made a new video that's quite chilling because he's been very accurate about what he said up until now. And he made uh, a new one to uh, yesterday. You have to uh, airdrop it. I'm not going to get it. Oh, OK. Oh, really? Yeah, it's we're a... literally having like I'm trying to talk to the IT guys now. Something's wrong with our network. Oh, no. Um, can I text it to you? Uh, I it that won't work. To to, yeah, I need to, my internet on my computer to get that. Oh, I, okay. you could text it to me, and I could airdrop it to myself. Yeah, try that. Okay, I'll try that. Hang on, please. Copy link. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, fucking, we are living in the strangest of times. The strangest of times. Um, because when you're ignoring, like, if you talk about the. Uh, the Barrington, Great Barrington Declaration. Mm -hmm. You're ignoring virologists and epidemiologists and their their expert opinion on things. Top and the, top flight. Yeah, and then actively talking through emails, openly talking about publicly discrediting these people. Well, there's there are a number of topics we need to talk about here, but one of them is this clear pattern where those of us who have achieved some kind of immunity to their control speak about these things. We pay some terrible price, we get slandered on our Wikipedia pages and elsewhere, but we persist. And eventually, it forces an acknowledgement of what we were saying that's years late, that has tremendous consequences for what we're actually doing. But I'm convinced that what they're up to is they're fixing the historical record. Right when we mm. when we stand up to their nonsense and we make it clear what's actually taking place and they are begrudgingly acknowledging this in the end, what it will look like in their own writing of the record and they will of course write the record, is that you know government's a bit slow and they were a little a little late to acknowledge this but of course that was because they were being very scientifically careful which is nonsense they never would have acknowledged it if they hadn't been forced to it. Yeah, that's uh, what's being revealed um, with the Twitter files and um, this this whole uh, thing where there's this massive pushback against Elon Musk and there's all these celebrities that are virtue signaling and removing themselves from Twitter publicly. 